Lima has been open for around almost two years. We are showcasing Peruvian cuisine a little bit more modern than, than in Peru or what the traditional uh, Peruvian uh, expectations that they have. Yes, we are very new, uh, we're quite small, and two years is, is very little, you know, obviously to get a Michelin star, to be recognized by the industry quite a lot. We've been very lucky and, you know, sort of good hands, I must say. Yeah. Some people don't know Peruvian food, and they come and they eat, you know, plate of ceviche or something with flavors of Peru, and they, they get really uh, amazed, you know, by, by what we do. When uh, we started writing the menu, I went to Peru, we designed the menu with the ingredients that was ready here in the UK. In Peru we have three regions, uh, the Andes, the coast and the Amazon. I see the Andes in general will give you a great insight of, of grains. The coast, uh, we have a lot of seaweed, we have a lot of, we are, you know, sort of blessed with fish, with fresh fish. And the Amazon is rich in lots of vegetables, root, uh, lots of roots. We are st still exploring and finding new ingredients, which again embrace us with the tradition, traditional Peruvian food, and what uh, the Japanese or the Chinese or the Spaniards or the Italians brought to us. So that's the idea behind us, and that's why probably we are quite successful. Well, I'm here uh, responsible, obviously, for the cooking, responsible to, to find uh, a good product. Um, we have to make sure that we use a lot of uh, local ingredients and obviously bring in the key ingredients from Peru. You know, everything of, uh, of, of a chef, really, you know, uh, managing, which is actually, I'm doing quite well. At the moment, we are 14 chefs in the kitchen. I have a great chef from Austria, he used to work with me in the past. I have uh, Eduardo from Spain. I just uh, enrolled a new girl from Sweden. So it's a mixture. Then I have also a, a chef from Colombia, from uh, Costa Rica. Then we have obviously around six Peruvians working, working with me. So we speak mainly Spanish in the kitchen. So we start very small and slowly, we grad gradually we start to grow. Eventually, we, we, we get people coming, you know, uh, which are very interested and uh, supplying us some products, some olives, for example. In the past, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, people didn't know what quinoa was. Then you start to find it in the salads in the UK. Now you find it all, all over the place. Paicho, which is, you know, a, a, a Amazonian river fish, um, you can get it here in the UK now. So it, there is a quite a, a good interest from the suppliers, from the people, from the British people, you know, to, to, to embrace with us, you know, with, with our cuisine and they help us a lot, yes. Mm -hmm.